It really started way back when I was very, very young and just not feeling worthy of and not feeling secure in myself. And so I would go into these depressions. And realizing all of that and releasing it, mm -hmm. the depression just went away. Most evictions, whether they involve alcohol, smoking, drugs, or food, generally stem from a root cause. That's according to Dr. Jacqueline Sidman, the author of Instant Inner Peace. She explains the Sidman solution for those addictions. In my book, The Sidman Solution, the key to eliminating weight issues, other compulsions and addictions, I describe that there's a commonality between those problems. You wouldn't think necessarily they'd go together, but they do because there are triggers that cause behaviors, and those triggers are emotional. Because you can know what to do, you can know how to do it, you can want to do it, but if you don't feel like it, you're not going to do it. Feelings are stronger than thoughts, and they will always win and feelings come from the subconscious mind. So now we have to take it back to where those feelings began. And once you find out what causes them, you can change them. What most people don't realize is that there are emotional crossovers that cause discomfort, that can cause anxiety, can cause tension in the body, can cause fear. And you might just look at it, well, I have tension or anxiety, but basically that tension builds up and when people go into addictions and compulsions and reach for food or alcohol or drugs, that's a tension reliever. So those are triggers and they're usually because something upset them, they're sensitive in some area, or they feel uncomfortable if they're shy or insecure and someone pushes a button, that's where those triggers come from. We asked Dr. Sidman, what are the triggers? Triggers are buttons that get pushed, and everybody's got buttons. So if you go back to what is it that pushes your buttons, do you feel anger, do you feel hurt, do you feel insecure? Those buttons are the feelings that cause triggers, and there are many crossovers. They can make you feel depressed, they can make you feel anxious, but they really are tension. They build up tension in the body. And when you have a lot of tension, you want to relieve that tension. So the most natural thing in the world is to reach for something to soothe you, whether it be food, whether it be drink, whether it be any other kind of compulsion that kind of relieves that tension. And there are a lot of compulsive behaviors. I mean, you can look in the dictionary and find gazillion compulsive behaviors, but they still come from some kind of ill at ease feeling. There's something going on that makes you feel uncomfortable and then you reach out. Now the problem is that once you do that enough, it becomes habitual and then it becomes an addiction and then you have a hard time shaking it. But what I'm saying and I'm instructing in my book is how people can get to the root cause of that and change those triggers, eliminate that emotion. And once it's gone, it's gone. And uh, having poor eating habits, and through the Sidman Solution, Dr. Sidman has helped me uh, work through those blocks. And now I'm doing something that I've uh, always wanted to do, which is surf. And I probably surf two to three times a week now. And since uh, working with Dr. Sidman, I've lost about 15 pounds and I'm definitely eating a lot better. What percentage of people who seek treatment for depression improve through therapy or medication? A, 25%, B, 45%, C, 60%, or D, 80%? The answer when we return. You're watching the award-winning American Health Journal. What percentage of people who seek treatment for depression improve through therapy or medication? The answer is D, 80%. Depression does not mean a lifetime of suffering. We go now to our reporter, Laura Windsor for this segment on self-esteem. Lack of self-esteem, according to Dr. Jacqueline Sidman, author of Instant Inner Peace, wrote that invisibility diminishes personhood, qualities, and the joys of being human. In this segment, Dr. Sidman will explain how the Sidman solution effectively works to reverse this problem, which in turn will promote better health. Defense mechanisms cover up true feelings. Our true feelings are at the root cause of many problems, diseases, illness, other problems as well. And what we really look at are the names of diseases like diabetes or cancer or cystic fibrosis. We don't even look at the feelings that cause the discomfort that lead, leads to dis-ease. So what we need to find out is what discomfort was there. And it usually comes from some early feelings of emotional pain, like you felt unworthy or sad or unloved or rejected. And those feelings affect our self-esteem. Ultimately, that may lead to illness. And that's rather a new way to look at it from the inside out. 